What's going on, Fitness View junkies and fitness enthusiasts all around the globe? Welcome back to another episode of Fitness For You, two-time national bodybuilding champion and certified master trainer, Ricky Shake here, back with another video. So yesterday I took my national board certification for occupational therapy, and I am so glad it's over because that was one of the hardest tests I ever took in my life. And regardless of the result, I think it was just a phenomenal fight, a phenomenal experience. You know, it challenged me in ways that I never thought I'd be challenged. Regardless, yada, yada, yada. Today, I want to talk to you guys about what is a good idea when it comes to recovery. Is taking aspirin and taking ice baths a good idea when you're trying to put on muscle and gain strength? And my answer to you would be, it's a terrible idea. It's actually a stupid idea. It's a terrible idea. If you want to go and gain muscle and gain strength, right, taking aspirin, an anti-inflammatory, or taking an ice bath, right, which stops the inflammation of the body, is actually a poor idea, and here's why. Now, you're probably saying, wait, I see Chris Bumstead doing this all the time. He takes ice baths, he sits in his freezer, or whatever you wanna call it, and fills it up with ice. Well, two things I gotta say to that. One, he's wrong. Two, he's Chris Bumstead, right? He is the best in the world, and I can't sit here and say that whatever he's doing is not working. But I can tell you, the ice baths definitely not a good idea. Why? Because just because you're Chris Bumstead doesn't mean you can sit here and defy science, right? Best in the world, taking nothing away from him. However, I'm just saying it like it is. When you take ice baths, what it's doing is it's stopping protein synthesis and it's stopping the in, the inflammation process. Now, the inflammation process, right, is one of these things that help us build muscle, right? It's our body's response, to get stronger and get better, right? To put on size. You make those micro tears, you become inflamed, right? And your body says, okay, protein synthesis, I'm gonna take the nutrition I have in my body and I'm going to use it to get stronger, right? When you take an anti-inflammatory after a workout and you take an ice bath or whatever, yes, it's going to help you recover. However, the side effect of you putting on muscle, it's not gonna happen as, be as good as you want it to be, right? But then you say to me, but wait a minute, Ricky, what about all the athletes that take ice baths? What about all the, the, the sports people who take, I don't know why I said sports people, all the athletes who take ice baths? Well, I would say that's an excellent idea. That's awesome, right? Because an athlete doesn't need to put on muscle when they're in season, right? You're like, what? Right? The goal of the athlete when they're doing their sport is not to put on muscle after every single game, right? The goal of the athlete is to recover quick enough for the next game. Right? So if that means playing a game, you're super beat up and super sore, right? Right? You want to stop that inflammation process. You want to stop that protein synthesis real quick so that you can recover quicker, right? To stop the inflammation process because they want to be ready for the next game, right? Their goals are different than somebody like me and you, right? Or somebody who's trying to put on muscle or try to be a bodybuilder, right? So if you're a bodybuilder or you're just trying to get in shape and lose weight and all that kind of stuff, you're going to want to take the pain a little bit. Right? You're going to want to understand that that soreness isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? You know, that pain you feel, ooh, ah, ah, that's your body's way of saying, hey, ow, I got to recover and I have to get better, right? So that's my tidbit to you. I hope this was super helpful. But you guys know the deal. Love your body, love your mind, and love your soul. Stay happy.